Welcome to the premiere episode of Weird Michigan. We are its spawns. From the moment when the first settlers walked onto the glacial shores of Wald Lake, it has captured the imagination of artists and scholars alike. Some say that the name derives from the ancient Viking visitors for Vyahala Fjord, while others contend that it was named by the founder, Walter Hewitt, who noticed a stone wall on the western side. To quote Dr. Bendigo Shafter, if Michigan be a land of a thousand lakes, then Wald Lake is the lake of a thousand stones. Why the native Potawatomi built the wall still remains a mystery. Two French scholars, Dr. Bendigo Shafter and Captain Cliars Fjordsen, have a more out-of-this-world explanation. Derived from the Native American Ojibwa words for wald and lake, those words themselves were wald and lake were they to be transliterated into our modern English tongue they might be pronounced walled lake the labyrinthine walls that exist under the steely blue waters of walled lake were erected sometime during the 19th century should I recall as a final defense against the meddlesome North American merfolk who routinely raided surrounding villages of settlers of their tinned biscuits and man flesh. Wild Lake was discovered, it was not for geographical reasons. Erickson was looking for it. He was looking for soul well. Thirteen soul wells were thought to exist in this area, but no, no, no. It existed here in Michigan. And it was for that reason he expedited it here. While they have wildly differing theories, they are still under the same opinion that the Potawatomi were trying to protect themselves from non-human, sentient forms of life. Captain Clarence Fjordson claims that the wall was hiding an entrance to a submerged bunker of the otherworldly Lemurians, but his onset drinking made any explanation incoherent. <laughs> The filming of the never aired documentary, Walt Lake, The Mystery, was a disaster. It was marred by so many unexplained production problems that those who worked on set claimed it was cursed. The hell? Power's on! On camera difficulties didn't improve matters. Between explosive fights between Shafter and Fjordson and incoherent outbursts from Fjordson, production was at a standstill. Licked footage of Captain Clears Fjordson's drunken behavior made his publisher drop. Let's get your house! Here you go. That's good stuff. That's strong stuff. Well, what is this, Vasa? Oh, you can cut this out if you need to, but I. Uh, I can't be a part of this. His book, The Aquatic Lair of Extraterrestrial Overlords, never saw the printing press. It might be disturbing to the more sensitive viewer, but we have decided to show clips of the interview. I don't speak Portuguese or whatever this man is prattling on in. I don't know where we are. Do best I I question whether or not you've ever been to Ward Lake. I certainly have not, but I think you've been in a Walmart <laughs> in a very particular aisle, if you know my meaning. You're a drunkard and a fool. Ich bin sehr voll. Das ist stimmt. Ich bin sehr voll. Aber philosophers and historians alike have debated. The ah! Ah! No! I am a professional. I am revered in my field. I will not be placed in the same room as this gentleman who is a drunkard and a brigand and a fool. 
I am a master of history and philosophy in the matters of Wald Lake. This man claims to have visited the Lake of Walls, the Lake of Infinite Walls, whose true location is unknown. I don't care what you think there in the back of your smug and your glib. I don't care for your face. He's perhaps been to a walled mart at best. He's passed out, possibly dead. Can we get a medic? I would like my check. Good day. To this day, Captain Claire Sforzen contests that he was never drunk. Rather, he was being manipulated by the Lemurians who wanted to discredit him and stop his book from being published. Well, you find Lemurians. Lemurians were here before all mankind, and they have special virtue that no mankind has right now. <laughs> Whether the Potawatomi Indians built the wall to shield themselves from the Lemurian underwater fortress, or, as Dr. Shafter claims, to protect the Potawatomi from raiding parties of the North American merfolk, the lake seems to be calm, for now. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for new episodes.